welcome back to this week's blog. And again, we've been delayed in getting a blog up because we're working on this DVD. It's called The Beginning of the End, and it's, it's coming together pretty well. So please be looking for that in the next few weeks. Um, I'm excited. It's going to be a two-hour DVD on end times, and just the topics are going to be kind of fun to be into. But uh, we have stuff to talk about, and that's why I wanted to get this blog done this week. Everything in the news is about Ebola, um, and I'm just concerned about really what's being said about it. I, I had a phone call, I actually had, uh, well, I had a phone call from somebody who was in the military, um, a high-ranking official in the military, and I understand there was a meeting that took place among some military officials, and they, they were concerned about Ebola, and what they were saying is that Ebola may be airborne. You know, right now we're being told that the only way you can get that is if it's, you know, through, through uh, human fluids and so on and so forth, but that may not be the case. The case may be that it may be airborne, and in this meeting I am told that they told the, the military personnel to immediately go home and put away at least three months worth of food and water. Now, I wanted to get this out to you because I want you to do the same thing. Make sure you have food and water put away. And the reason they told the military personnel was this, because if Ebola does spread across America, which is a good possibility it may, um, it's going to be a while before we can get any kind of medicine. The antidotes for this we don't have, and it's going to take a while to, to really get that supply out. So you're going to need to protect yourself. And if you're quarantined in your house for two, three, four months, what would happen? Could you make that? And of course, if it spreads, you won't be able to go outside. We're seeing a little bit of that in Dallas right now, but just be aware. And when I heard that it could be airborne, that was obviously quite concerning because that's not what we're being told. So please understand that the, the real threat of Ebola, let's pray it doesn't get to be what it could be, but the possibility is there. So let me ask you to please prepare, go out and get food, make sure that you are stocked at home. And you need to be doing that anyhow in the culture and environment we live in. Now, with this new news, I, I did some more research, and was there ever any testing? Was it ever thought before that Ebola could be airborne? And in fact, two years ago, up in Canada, they did some laboratory testing, and they came with that results. This is the article, and this was a combination of the Natural Center for Foreign Animal Disease, the University of Manitoba, and the Public Health Agency of Canada. Now, those three groups came together, and what they did, they had some pigs, some piglets, uh, pigs do not get Ebola like humans do. It's not, it's not life-threatening to pigs. In fact, they think pigs could be a carrier of this disease. So anyhow, they injected Ebola into these piglets, and they kept them isolated. They kept them quarantined. And about a week after they injected them, six to eight days later, they started to show signs of the Ebola. The pigs got a fever, had some respiratory issues. And at that time, they brought in some monkeys, and they had a separate cage, a second cage with four monkeys in it. Now, there was no contact between the piglets and the monkeys, but after about four or five days, two of the four monkey, monkeys began to show signs of Ebola. Now, again, the high fever, the respiratory, and within a week, all four of the monkeys had Ebola. They had respiratory problems and so on and so forth. They were saying that in a laboratory with these three agencies that proved that Ebola could be transmitted airborne because there was no contact between the pigs and the monkeys. Now again, those animals, that's animal testing, but it was done in a laboratory and it showed what Ebola could do. Now monkeys and, and pigs, they, again, it's not life-threatening to them like it is to humans, uh, in that case at least. Uh, in Africa, there were some cases where, where um, monkeys were, were killed be with the disease and they think that might be where it started. But regardless, there, there is laboratory testing two years old that was never really made public that e Ebola could be airborne, and now you have the U.S. military in a meeting saying, you know, it, this could be something that could be a great threat, a bigger threat than we're being told. The disease can be caught airborne, and so you need to prepare for that. So I just wanted to get this message out to you. Um, we're going to go back to, the, to, to completing the DVD. The focus will be on that, but this was too important to, to skip a week. So please understand what's being done, understand what the possibilities could be, and just prepare yourself. Go out and start budgeting, preparing to put food away so that if you were quarantined into your house, how long would you last? All right, have a great week. God bless you.